Greetings, my human friends. This again is Rudolf of Germany, the tall white alien. Today without the head, today without the glasses, and today without the famous leather army coat of the German army, which Karl loves to wear so much in the memory of his father. Because at some time of the year, in the summer mainly, it becomes unbearable hot in it because it weighs almost 20 pounds. A reason for it is not only the heavy leather, but also the bulletproofness which is woven into it, which is very important and has been very important in the past, you can imagine. Well, today I would like to talk about something just to make you aware, aware of something which is brewing up. A new, brand new, long planned and now soon to be put into operation a civil war in the Western world, including the United States of America, Canada, and Europe. You might, of course, be aware of the fact that there are people on the right and on the left of this political spectrum. The right are trying to protect the borders of America and also of Europe. Don't want masses millions and millions of illegal immigrants coming into the country and uh, the percentage of these people who will commit horrendous crimes and then a certain much bigger fraction of them bleeding out the social system and the finances of the land. This is the right wing of the people, this is the right side of the people of America and Europe who like to protect that, what they have worked for so hard and so dearly and have anyway be, been robbed by the politicians, just like the mafia does, by extortion in form of taxes. But never mind this kind of uh, slavery we all know about, but at least a little bit of safety and a little bit what is left of freedom, the right side wants to conserve. Now you got the left side. People who pretend, and many of them, the other half of the population, is of the opinion that free immigration for all needy people for all people in the world who are suffering of hunger and are running for war, or are all people who have uh, just economical problems and would like to better their life, they all, millions and millions, whoever wants to, should come to America and should come to Europe and live there a much better life and have a better chance in life to find good work and uh, be under sanitary and safe living conditions, which in general is a very good hearted from most of these people to think we worked hard or in the left, most of them haven't worked so hard, of course, because very few of them own businesses. But anyhow, these people believe let's share our wealth and help the poor. Generally speaking, not a bad idea, but if the poor eventually become more than the ones who can feed them, that is the end of the story. So, these two camps you know. You might belong to one or the other. And the fight between the two, and you can see it in the media, in the internet and anywhere, also in the um, established media, in CNN and the uh, New York Times, Washington Post and many other European outlets, there is a fight becoming fiercer and fiercer by the day between those two 
fractions. The ones who want to preserve what is, if possible, and the others and say, never mind, we let everybody in, share whatever we have, and somewhat and somehow it will work out eventually. So, the media and the politicians work on it. You have some politicians who are on the right and some politicians are on the left and fighting fiercer and fiercer for the ideas of both camps, of course. And then you will wonder, is it because there are really two different kind of mindsets in politics, high finance, banking, are the very, very powerful few on top are divided, some are very human and want to let everybody in and the other wants to preserve it. Is there on the very top of the leaders of this world such a division of, of thought, such a division of opinion where the world should go? And because of the decisions of these powerful, both parts of the human population are choosing sides. Confused, frightened, and so on. Did it ever occur to you that the same people who are the front runners of the left, who let everybody in to your country and do all kinds of other political correct decisions and manipulate the press, are the same people who are running the other side, the ones who are strictly conservative and want to close the borders. Did it ever occur to you that both sides are being fed with money, propaganda, and with suggestions from the same group on top? There is no such a thing as a discrepancy of thought and of political will on the very top. The ones who play chess with the human population, they all know that the only way for them to rule is to divide the people on this planet. And exactly that's what they're doing. There is no confusion what the political and the social future of this planet Earth is. A civil war is in the making. It's being fabricated by the same people who support both sides. Only the destruction of the Western world, Americas and Europe, only the destruction confusion is exactly that what is in the planning. And you on the right and you on the left fighting for people from poor countries to help them or trying to make them stay away are just pawns in the hands of one and the same group who is pinning you against each other. You are being groomed for the year 2020 about to start civil war and in order to make it a real nasty war these same people let millions of Arabs and South Americans in the United States Arabs and Africans into Europe millions and millions and millions who will be then in the middle of it and take sides, of course, the side of the, the left, and make the civil war even more fierce. And there will be weapons provided for these and both sides of the population of Europe and America, so they can kill each other just like they do in Afghanistan, in Syria, and other parts of the world, which has already been put in flames by the very same people. Now it's the turn of Europe, and now it's the turn of the Americas. There is no such a thing as confusion in politics. 
There is no such a thing, thing as there are highly ranking politicians who are wondering what to do, fighting each other and trying to find a solution for the problems. This is a group which is playing a very evil game with you, stirring up hatred. Remember that next time you go in to vote. And the war starts 2020, Rudolf of Germany.